Hello everyone, apa kabar? One of the things that we've emphasized on this channel is the differences in formal and in casual or informal Malay. So in formal Malay used in the media or in formal events would be different in day-to-day -day Malay. The Malay that is spoken at home or on the street or among friends. So let's look at examples of the different formats of sentences in formal and in informal Malay. Chong mengajar di sekolah itu. Chong mengajar di sekolah itu. So we begin with the formal version of the sentence. And what does this mean? Chong teaches at that school. And how is this said in day-to-day -day Malay? Chong aja dekat sekolah tu. Chong aja dekat sekolah tu. Okay. Next one. Emak dia sedang memasak di dapur. Emak dia sedang memasak di dapur. What does this mean? His or her mum is cooking in the kitchen. His or her mum is cooking in the kitchen. In casual Malay, this would be Mak dia tengah masak dekat dapur. Mak dia tengah masak dekat dapur. Okay, so notice the usage of the me prefix in both the first example and this one, and also um, substituting the preposition D with the cat. Another example. Polis memberi peluang kepadanya bercakap. Polis memberi peluang kepadanya bercakap. This means the police gave a chance to him to speak. And in informal Malay, this would be Polis beri peluang kepadanya cakap. Polis beri peluang kepadanya cakap. And most of the time, the word beri in informal Malay is replaced with the word bagi. Polis bagi peluang kepadanya cakap. So it means the same thing. Okay, so let's start with the English version this time around. The cat took the fish that Ahmad gave. So in formal Malay, how is this said? A cat is kucing. A fish is ikan. To take is ambil and to give is beri. Kucing itu mengambil ikan yang diberi oleh Ahmad. Kucing itu mengambil ikan yang diberi oleh Ahmad. So the phrase yang diberi oleh Ahmad um, word for word in English means which is given by Ahmad. So in casual Malay, this would be Kucing tu ambil ikan yang Ahmad bagi. Kucing tu ambil ikan yang Ahmad bagi. Okay. Next one. Sabri stopped the car and switched off the engine. So to stop is henti or henti kan. To switch off would be padam kan or mati kan. An engine is engine. Sabri menghentikan kereta dan memadamkan engine. Sabri menghentikan kereta dan memadamkan engine. 
In casual Malay, this would be Sabri hentikan kereta dan matikan enjin. Or sometimes the word dan is replaced by the word dengan. Sabri hentikan kereta dengan matikan enjin. Alright, so let's look at longer sentences. She wore a red dress that was made by her own grandmother. Okay, so to wear an outfit would be pakai. Dress would simply be baju. To make is buat. And a grandmother would be nenek. Dia memakai baju merah yang dibuat oleh neneknya sendiri. Dia memakai baju merah yang dibuat oleh neneknya sendiri. In casual Malay, this would be Dia pakai baju merah yang nenek dia sendiri buat. So, the phrase yang nenek dia buat literally means which her grandmother made. Okay, last one. We start off with the formal version. Rashid sedang menunjukkan lukisan yang dibeli olehnya di Itali kepada jirannya. Rashid sedang menunjukkan lukisan yang dibeli olehnya di Itali kepada jirannya. So what does this mean? Rashid is showing the painting that he bought in Italy to his neighbor. Okay, so a neighbor is jiran, a painting is lukisan, to show is tunjo. Okay, so is showing would be sedang menunjo or sedang menunjukkan. So, in casual Malay, this would be Rashid tengah tunjukkan lukisan yang dia beli dekat Itali kepada jiran dia. Rashid tengah tunjukkan lukisan yang dia beli dekat Itali kepada jiran dia. Okay? So, the format of all of the sentences and the components of um, structuring the sentence we've covered uh, mostly in our previous videos and previous lessons. For example, the me prefix, the suffix kan, um, a format of passive voice in sentences, and also possessive pronoun dia and nya. Those are all covered in our previous lessons. So if you do need help, um, just go back to our videos for a revision. Okay, so that's all for this lesson. If you have any questions, please drop a comment below.